Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. We made it to Friday. You guys, this is our first week, first, first official week of month of education. I think it's been going pretty well so far. I don't know about you guys, um, but I've got Nathan here joining with me as always. Hello, everybody. How are you? I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you guys. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be fun. I'm so excited, Jade. I love these. Yay. This is our first affiliate interview of Month of Education. And of course, we got to kick it off with a gold elite. And we have Alinea Sullivan on the call with us today. Hi, Alinea. Hello, everyone. How are you? Yay. Nice to be here. Excited to have you. I'm glad that we're able to chat with you today. Um, and hopefully you guys can get to know her a little bit better from some of the questions that we're gonna ask. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my first question. Um, so Alinea, you are a gold elite in the US and we know a lot of your business is outside of the US, but what, what are those countries that you're working with the most right now? Well, um, we've got India. Uh, we've got the Philippines, we've got some in Canada and UK, uh, Sweden, and we have a really, really strong group that's going on in Hungary right now. Awesome. That is awesome. And what is it like what, working with the affiliates of these other countries? What are some of the things you have to do to, to make it able to see for you to work with them effectively? Well, some of them, of course, right now with Hungary, we have to have an interpreter. <laughs> I'm going to start learning hungry, it, it sounds like, but um, it's just a lot of planning, you know, getting the groups together because, of course, we're on different time zones, totally different time zones. So we're um, like six hours behind. And then sometimes with the Philippines, we're 12 hours uh, behind. Um, and with India, I forget, I got to look at my time zone, but it's 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 a lot of work. And sometimes we have to be there for them. It's not what's good for us, but what's good for them. Right. That makes sense. Yeah, that's, that's a very unique situation to have all of those different time zones to have to figure out and, and worry about. Um, is there anything that makes it unique working with those compared to the US? Well, Besides the time zones. <laughs> well, they're only unique because they're different and their cultures are different. Okay. It's not like I plan to work in those countries. It's just that people that we sponsor in the US no people or no contacts in those other countries. And then those people turn into leaders. So when those leaders hop in, then they know other people from other countries. So it's like, you know, you follow wherever the heat's going. You, you've got to follow it. You know, you become um, very passionate about it and they become passionate because, you know, having said that, I mean, yes, I have a lot from other countries, but now there's more people in the US after the pandemic that, you know, want to do the business here. So, you know, it's kind of funny because, you know, this new team in Hungary is growing so fast. So who knows how many countries are going to come in in Europe because this team is going all over the place. So it's like uncertainties. It's kind of like you love what's, what's going to happen, which you don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I love that so much. And I, I want to kind of tell you a couple of things why. One, because I've always kind of heard that you you go where your leaders take you. And the other thing though, I'm gonna kind of just throw one at you here. I, I, I let you give you a chance to talk about your, your mentor, but if anybody in four lives ever kind of went where their leaders take them, it's your, uh, your mentor and upline platinum elite, Jeff Altgilbers. I mean, he literally moved to Southeast Asia for eight, I think eight years is what it was. But to take a minute and tell us a little bit about your relationship with Jeff and some of the things you've learned from Jeff as a mentor. Um, he, he's amazing. I mean, it, you know, he, one of the things that you know I really like about him that he's very humble he listens to people and that's how he taught us all to listen to people you want to be a friend and even though you know he's like way up there he's always there for anyone you know they they reach out to me and they text me hey do you think you can get on a call and I'm like Jeff come on let's go it doesn't matter. It's like, oh, I just woke up. You got five minutes, you know? So he's always available and he teaches his leaders to be the same way, always be available for them to 
to talk from the heart. You know, it, it's not about us. It's about them. How many people can we help um, health wise, financially? You know, it's it's shooting your dreams and then going for it. Oh, my gosh. So good. And what, one other follow up kind of question to that. Maybe not even a question. I just got to say this because so last year, gosh, we're getting pretty close to, to the to that point. Actually, I think it was about right now. You had just broken Gold Elite. Mm -hmm. And your team, your and Jeff's teams wanted to have a celebration call to celebrate you making Gold Elite, Jeff making Platinum Elite. It was one of the more special experiences I've ever had personally um, to, to sit and watch that and, and to understand. Now, don't get me wrong. Whenever we can get face to face with people, it is awesome. But it's uh, you can still forge relationships in other ways. And I think for me, seeing the love and affection and appreciation all those people had for you and Jeff and all the effort you put in from the you know amount of time you put it through Zoom and different things. I know you've traveled over to the Philippines several times to work with them. So they have had some in-person contact, but just it's the effort of the relationship, no matter what the, sp the situation is. Isn't that, is, does that sound about right? Yep, that's what I was gonna talk about. That's one of my favorite moments, you know, for life. I mean, it's amazing how, you, you know, we got, we got together and united. You know, some people say, well, I'm only going to work with my line and only work with my team. No, there's there's uh, people from India working with the Philippines, mm -hmm. people from the Philippines working with U.S. So it's not just one person. You know, I remember in one of the conventions United, you know, it doesn't matter what line. I have people that call me all the time from somebody under somebody else. It's not under me, but I don't care. This is what, you know, we grow together. That is awesome. So cool. I love that. And it, would you say that's one of your favorite for life memories? Oh, yeah. You know, I have so many, but, you know, one of the ones that I cherish a lot was when I reached Gold Elite last July. Yes. And we did a worldwide celebration, which was, it was um, July 2nd. It was a party. There was over 350 from all different time zones. Remember, they had to wake up early and, you know, some of them had to go late. And uh, one of the favorite things is when we had a lot of corporate and of course, Danny Lee was there. And when he was telling us that, you know, Jeff was the first platinum elite and, and you know, we were the first gold. I mean, it just like got chills on me because I, you know, really didn't know. I knew there was others, but we were the first one to hit. But what was really um, special is that during that month, we had new silver elites, uh, new silver in India, in India. And later in August, some of those silvers are gold and then more silver elites and then another silver um, in Philippines. So it was like it, it was like a family was growing. And not only those, but I, I kind of look at what are the roots, you know, new bronze, new bronze elite, new presidential. And the core of our business is diamonds. So many new diamonds. You know, I, you know, people, oh, how'd you do it? It wasn't me. It was a team effort. You know, uh, it's like you become family, you become friends with them. We learned, as I said, how Jeff would teach us, lead with the heart, not with the minds. So sometimes when we lead with the mind, you start, you start getting like a little ego. Oh, well, I did this and I do that, you know, but when you heat, um, lead with the heart, it's what's inside you. And I remember how crazy it was. And Nathan knows. I mean, we, some people say, oh, eight to faint. No, we were beyond eight to faint. We were <laughs> we were like 7 a.m. to two o'clock in the after, in the morning. I remember I get up and my husband's sleeping and I go to bed and my husband's asleep, you know, and it was a very busy time. But it was so much fun because everybody was united. We would have groups doctors from India talking to the Philippines, from the Philippines talking to India, you know, and we learned all to not overthink it. You know, don't compare yourselves to other. We work together and then we get the rewards. And one of my favorite thing is like going to Los Cabos in Mexico. I mean, that was my first trip after the pandemic, never got in a plane. And that was amazing. I mean, for life was like first class all the way. And those are beautiful moments that I will always cherish. That's amazing. Gosh, I love it. New one, I got another question for you. We've already answered so many good points. So hopefully you have some more in there for us. But what, you know, 
you talk about using the mind versus the heart. I think sometimes the mind kind of keeps us back. And so someone that's looking into joining, becoming a network marketer and join for life and kind of, you know, but they're, they're a little apprehensive. They're a little scared. What, what advice would you give them? Don't overthink it. Don't complicate it. You know, you do it united and, and everybody rises. You know, I tell people that go for the no. And they're like, go for the no. What do you mean? He goes, I tell them, I says, go for 20 no's a week. And he goes, well, what do you mean? I says, you don't understand. There's going to be somebody. You're going to be a leader. You know, you don't. Yeah, there you go. Go for the no. Yeah. And it's, it's amazing because a no now doesn't mean a no tomorrow. I've had so many people, oh, no, 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 now we're marketing. But then they start looking at, into the products and they come to me and say, hey, tell me a little bit about this. You know, it's like, it's like a, almost like in the Bible, you, you plant your seed. Well, you plant your seed about this miracle molecule. And, you know, it's changing people's health. It's changing their mindset and, of course, their way of living. So, you know, I remember when I used to work in the medical field, nine to five job. Uh, yeah, not me anymore. Yeah, awesome. that's the nice thing about network marketing is you get to make your own schedule, you get to travel, you get to do all of those things uh, from the comfort of home if you want or anywhere. It's awesome. Um, my last question for you is how have you seen your business evolve and, and what do you think is important about making that evolution? So I would say doing it differently. Uh, don't become stagnant. You know, so many um, people get into the managing mode and they forget that first love they had with transfer factor. So I always encourage them. I says, think about when you first started and you were on fire. If you're starting to slow down, think about that time, how excited you were. You know, so I always um, recommend for them to rekindle that love, rekindle those that have fallen in the crack. Uh, reach out to them. And one thing I always tell the leaders is if you can't reach out to them, call me, text me, I will reach out to them because I, I don't mind. I love it. You know, and, and one thing I always tell them is don't compare yourselves to others. Do the best that you can do. And if you need us, we will be there. Because one of the examples I say, I says, you know, if you're driving and you're looking at the rear view mirror and you're always looking at the rear view mirror, you're going to be in an accident. You got to look forward. Whatever you've done in the past, you got to look forward. And you just do a lot of personal development. You know, um, I mean, it's you, you become passionate about them because sometimes people just like, oh, you know, I'm doing OK. And then the volume goes down. We call it instead of network marketing, Jeff we had slides and it's like we call it social referral system. Why? Because if I get my hair done, you know, I like somebody, I'm going to refer that person. Well, I'm not going to get anything for it. So social referral system is what we're doing. Only we're getting paid. We're getting rewards. We're making an impact on people's lives. I love that. Social referral system. That yeah. Awesome. Don't steal that. Don't steal that. <laughs> <laughs> we have one of the slides that we did and, and I just worked a lot on it and one of them is why for life why you and why now and now I see it all over it's like people like why for life why you why now but yeah social referral system because that's what we're doing we're yeah. just getting that is so awesome okay I gotta ask you one this question really fast because I, I always want to know see if anybody's a little different because we've got such a unique product line in my opinion what is your favorite product oh just one I have to pick no, have, give us kind of your what you take every day or whatever you want. You want to know what I take? Oh, okay. You want to know what I take? Okay. So, of course, the gold factor, uh, cardio, glucose, Renewal, Transfer Factor Plus, Classic. Um, let's see. I, uh, Shape Right. I mean, you know, if you were to show me, I would just give you the bottle because every morning I go ahead and put in a big shot glass and that's what I take. And of course, Rio Vida. So it's like people say, what do you take? I'm like, oh, wow, I got to look because it's like I take everything, you know, I, except male pro. I take about everything. 
You sound like me. Absolutely. Well, hey, um, that was so that's our last question, except for hey, is there anything that you'd like to share with the group that maybe you didn't weren't able, asked about that you might want to give a piece of advice to everyone? It's just be positive. You know, I'm not a salesman because, you know, in the medical field, you weren't, but you you tend to have this love for people. But when you're passionate about something, it comes out in your voice. It comes out from the heart. So, you know, we know that it works. We know that many changes it's helped on people. So just be passionate when you talk about it. You know, you you want to develop like um, uh, an intrigue. What What is this? You know, why is this so good? And if you do it that way and you think about them, then it automatically, you you know, it will help you. But I always tend to ask people about them and you become friends with people. And then you just say, hey, what do you do? And, you know, you ask them what you do. And then what are they going to say? Obviously, well, what do you do? And then you give them, you, you create curiosity. And if you do it that way, people are going to be attracted to you because you're going to be attracted to people that are positive and likewise, they will be attracted to you. I love that. It's so important. Yeah, absolutely. It is. So good. So that's all. I, that's about all I can say. I mean, there's so many things that, you know, I become very passionate about it. And when you help people, it, it's it's like a joy because you know that their health is different. You know, I get calls all the time and says, oh, my goodness, my dad's on cardio. Oh, my dad's on lung. You know, I mean, it's it's amazing how you're making an impact on people's lives and it doesn't matter. It still comes back to you. So I, I just encourage everybody just keep going. Go for the for, go for the no. Go for 20 no's a week and you'll see one of them's going to be a yes. And then you dig for your leader. You know, I have people that I have and they're kind of stagnant. And what, what do I do? OK, go beyond that and dig for the leader. And that's what they're doing. Yeah. So I think some people get afraid of the no, but you're saying go for the no. <laughs> yeah, go for the no, because yeah. you know what? It, it's a statistic. If you go for the no, there's still gonna be a yes. There's gonna be a one yes. Well, how many real, real drivers, real leaders do you need? What if you get two from the no? Okay, that's fine. But you're still, you know, as I said, you're planting the seeds. You're planting those seeds. And what do you do? You, you water it every so often. You know, I'm not very pushy. Uh, you know, I know some people are very pushy, but I'm not because I'm about the product because of the change that it's done on me and my mom on on hundreds of people I know. So I'm very passionate about the product. But if you go for the, for the no, one of those is going to be a yes. Mm -hmm. So think about it. You know, if you get two people a yes a week, so what, what if you got 18 no's? Who cares? But you're still making an impact. Absolutely. So. I love it. Well, thank you so much for joining us. This has been a blast. <laughs> it was nice to be here. It's always a privilege to be with Nathan. And now I get to see Jade. Always a privilege. <laughs> They're still talking about all the compensation plans that you, you had in our meetings the other day. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, so much fun spending some time with those guys. I can't wait to do it again. Just let me know. Okay, we will. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, guys. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Jade. Thank you, everybody. Have a great weekend and get ready for next week's month of education. It's going to be fun. Take care. Bye. Thank you, guys. <laughs>